400 miles for a young bird is stretching it. It's stretching it. So that, that bird has something. You know, whether it'll transmit it to the babies that you raise from it, that's, that until you breed it, you don't know. 400 miles is a long way. I'm, I'm not saying they can't fly it, but it's pretty hard on them. You don't notice it right away. You won't notice it till the next year. They'll lose a little vitality. They lose a little, how do you say it? As a flyer then, as a flyer? Yeah. How about as a breeder? No, I don't think it affects their, their gene transmitting capability. If they're healthy. You know. As a flyer, they lose a little bit of elastic ability to, to be flexible, to, they start off a little slower than when you start training them. They're, they're, you know, they're just like us. After a, a big workout, yeah. the next day, you know, you're, you're gonna feel it. What would you recommend uh, as far as uh, your bird to cross with this bird? I have husk and van reels here. Not very many, but I do have some. And you can breed them brother and sister for generation after yeah, generation and they fly good. Certain families are like that. Certain families, you can't breed them one year close together because the babies just don't. You know, it's all genetics. Again, it's vitality. That good pair that you want, you gotta breed it yourself. You gotta fight it yourself. Because you can't buy it. You can buy a, a bird here or a bird there and try it to bring into your family. Yeah. Try it and fly it. And if they work, Continue on with it. If they I'm don't, try your birds, then you got to get out of there. Man. You got to get get that crap out. I'm of gonna it. try your birds. Let's <laughs> go. This is the father of the law. That's the, that's the foundation. The foundation. He's not fertile anymore. But he's the one that that bred the um, the Royal Cup winner for me in 2020. Yeah, forty thousand. Yeah, incredible. You're I still did. letting him. Uh, I let him play. I no, I I let him foster breed. Yeah, yeah. I put him with him. Yeah, let yeah. him raise babies. But he's he's not fertile anymore. It's been a couple of years since he's couple been fertile. Years. He's a, a Vic Miller bird. What bloodline is this? The Smith. The Smith. Smith. Jansen Van Loon. He's got everything in him. Yeah. Where did you get this bird? Vic Miller sent him to me as a fraternity bird. Oh, this is Vic Miller. And uh, the year he sent him to me, get this. The year he sent him to me, I took him out of the box when he shipped him. I said, Jesus, this is a nice fish. So I, I got him a train, I, I got him to molt out and everything, and then there's the Tri-City Combine show. Mm -hmm. I put him in the show, he was best in show. <laughs> best in show. So after that, I said, Jesus Christ, I told Vic, I says, this is for just one best in show. He says, fly it. Jesus. He had a fraternity band on him. Yeah. He won the fraternity that year. <laughs> I says, that's it. Keeping this bird. <laughs> so you, kept the, you kept the bird, he gave it to you. Yeah. Yeah, feel this guy. Jeez, there's no weight. It's so buoyant. At that age, they usually start losing their muscle. Yeah, you know, they start. This is still got the muscle. There's, this is the genetic guys right here. It's yeah. all about genetic. Yeah, it is. Look at this bird. Goes through a beautiful molt every year. I keep him here by himself because he has a hard time keeping up with those birds eating, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I, I baby him as I know he's still And then every once in a while I put a hen out here. Yeah. And he just, he just loves it. He just, he thinks he's king sheep. Wow. Birds love you, Dan. <laughs> Is there all cocks right here? Yeah, this is another another cock that, that uh, has bred some very, very good food for me. 
He's from uh, the Jones Boys in Utah. Okay. Okay. And he is usually always made it to a Debrent hen. Yeah. And breeds some very, very good pigeons for me. Every year. Yeah, what bloodline? Huskin Van Reel. This is a Huskin Van Reel. Yeah. Check it out. So he does really well with uh, the bread. That's, that's all that he's been put to is the bread. Same hand. He came from my buddy. I don't know if you knew Chris Gluck. Used to be used to be my partner with the Lenlo races. Lionel and the Gluck brothers. It was that was our. Uh, yeah. Okay, he died this year. So I got before they got rid of all the birds. I got the pick of. Uh, birds that I wanted from that he had down there. Mm -hmm. And this was cock and, the, and his mate was the one that I brought back here. You just got this bird this year? Yeah, a few months ago. What year is this bird? It's a 2014. Mm -hmm. Out of all the birds, this is the tree. Yeah, I just picked him, him and his mate. He's the best, the best one he's got. I think so. Very, very consistent, very good pigeons, very tough pigeons. Yeah. What do you look when you're buying a bird? I look at, you know, the general health, the feathering, if it's nice and soft, uh, how the bird stands and, and looks at you, you know. There's something that you see that, and everyone I think is different. Everyone has something they like different about a bird. I like a bird that's always looking, always looking around, like this guy, he's always looking. That's the hand that I sold to Mike Rowe right there. And this one right here? Yeah. yeah. I should have money. This is the sister of the, the hand that I got? Yeah. Same here. We are here at Dan Linello's house. His main bloodline here is uh, Jansen Van Loon. Van Loon from Carboni, Italy. Her sister, the one you have, I have yet to this day have a bird fly as good as she did. I think she won three combine races and, and two federation races. The one you have. May not be worth a shit. Wow. I'm going to put the original pair together mm -hmm. this year. If they're fertile, if they lay in the, in the baby's hatch later on in the year, if I have some babies, That's the I'll one. call you. I'll fly them? You no, know, you'll buy them. You don't fly those. Don't fly those. No. <laughs> let, me, let me catch the father. Now we'll look at this bird and see how you would match up to your hand. What can you say? What can you say? I think it's gonna match up really well. <laughs> this was one of my flying cocks that flew all the way to Hill as a clock bird. What bloodline is this then? He is. He has Vic Miller, Jansen from Imports, and Beachy Blood. Beach Blood. What's the hand? Uh, Shallons. Shallons, okay. Yeah. Very good flyer. 
This is the guy. Italia. Italia. This is 2010. Hmm? This is the Carboni. Mm -hmm. 14 years old. That's the hand? That's the cock. Cock, Carboni. That's the, fa that's the father. Father of, of all, all the grizzlies. Wow. Father, grandfather, great grandfather. Still for two? <laughs> yes. He was last year, so still good. Damn. Healthy and healthy. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 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 This guy has everything as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Buddy. Yes. Spirit. And he's been tested. You know, which is an important part of the I've got two sons of his in the in the old bird law. I'll take this one. <laughs> okay. Five grand? Is that a good one? <laughs> <laughs> Almost got away. His babies have won. Let's see. His babies Five have won $60,000. I win the race tomorrow. I'm going to come back. If you say so. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Like I said, he's got two youngsters there that have flown real well. But we haven't flown old birds. And... Here to the champion? Yeah. Yeah, here to the uh, 400 mile in. Well, yeah. What color see. eye does she have? Uh, kind of orange. Okay. He's got a nice pearl, pearl eye, yeah. yeah. Pearl eye. Her eye is beautiful. That's a beautiful bird. <clears throat> Double juice. Okay. This is the mate to the Italian cock. Italian cock. Now, is it her? That's doing all the winning, or is it him? Or is it both of them? <laughs> Barbara. Yeah. Where did she come from? She is. She is Tournier, Jansen, De Brent, Beckert, Van Loon, Super 73 Van Loon. Yes. I think that's it. This one and that cock produce the bird that I have and this one. Yeah. And the mother to the holiday classic winners. The baby, she said, is eating before seven. Yeah. If, if they breed. Do you call birds then? Hmm? Do you call birds? Call what? Call. Kill. Call. Oh, yeah. Kill. Yeah. Lots of them. From the nest or from when they just perform? Where well, there's right out of the nest, even in the nest, after the after the racing seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you, you, you got to you got to call. In the nest, what do you look for? If the baby is a little smaller than the other one, <clears throat> if the egg hatches a little later, yeah. if he doesn't grow, yeah. if the drop is, you know, you can look at a million different things, and if it's not the same. Yeah. Uh, it won't ever turn out to be anything. Right. You might as well get rid of it now and let the other one exactly. that's growing good, let it have the benefit of... Yes, uh, I believe that. Yeah. Mm, don't ever say saya. Kamayam. Now, lucky your keyboard that it's never gonna... Perform. Sister to yours that you have. <laughs> Same five. Reading this? Oh, yeah. Yes, guys. Come. When you breed these birds, what do you cross? What, what kind of cross do you do? Anything. anything. I try them on anything. What do you think? 
<clears throat> that's the kind of bird that I like <clears throat> as far as body, just overall. She got her mother's eye. Yeah. <clears throat> She's getting up there. She's a 2016. Yeah. Yeah, that's why this guy is here. Because I told them, if you want good birds, right here. You got one. <clears throat> you got one. So the two birds that won the money in that classic, you want to see them? Yes, of course. <clears throat> Both cock birds, two brothers. Brothers. From from what hen from what parents again? The mother to them would be the sister to your bird. Okay. The father is from Mike Grow in the Compton Club, which is Gabby. Is it here? No, I don't have it. Well, Mike has it. Oh, you guys do a uh, did a uh, call. He let me use it for for one season. Oh. He let me use it for one season. He doesn't sell birds, that's the problem. Oh, you got the hand, bro. Cross mo yan sa mga ibon mo. Eh, cross mo yan sa kwan, sa anak ni Bulalakaw. Mamaya, hey, we're here. Try natin na. Shit. Titira ka na naman, bro. Tell me. Ah, here comes the champion bird. First place. First place. Holiday Cup. This year. 2023. Holiday Cup. How many, how many birds did I draw? Five. Five. I had two. What is this? First, this is first place. The first one. I'll get third place. Right. First one that came in. Yeah. in first place. Damn. Five, five bird in a drop. First place. Mother of this bird <coughs> is a Jansen Van Loon. The, the sister of the one I have. This is a cock, look at the eye. This is third place. An average speed winner for the series. This is the third place, Same also way. first in the drop, I'm right? drop that one. This one. Brother and six brothers? Two brothers. Two, two brothers. The same nest. Yeah. These are nestmates? Yeah. You see? Wow. This is not luck, guys. <laughs> nestmates. Nestmates. First drop, first and third. And this is the average speed winner. Average speed winner. So this was $16,000, this one for Wow. Plus the Calcutta, it, they won another $7,200 in the Calcutta, these two birds. Handles the same. He's a little small. Small. This is a small medium. This, this small bird's small. legs. This bird's legs are longer. That's why he went into the trap first. Yeah. <laughs> you can <laughs> run faster. That guy's running. <laughs> <laughs> they took the. They take the pants out now when they set it back. Yeah. yeah. This was a nice surprise. Very nice surprise. This bird, this grizzle, was always there in the training tosses. And in the first races, he was always right there. First drop, first drop, first drop. And when it came to the race, god damn, there he was. First drop with his brother. His brother was seventh average average speed, so it wasn't bad. You know, there was almost 900 birds in there in that race. Who got the second? Um, Igor, something like that. Igor and Joe or something like that. See the feather. <clears throat> so, I'll try him. So, who knows? Might not be worth the shit. Probably not. That's why we need to sell this one. <laughs> That's the story of my life. <laughs> At least we got one right here. We got one. We got a good one.
the younger lot. This is the old bird. This is dirty right now. I love empty. 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 Right out. Where's the young bird? I didn't raise any young birds. I have spare birds in here. I didn't raise any universities. Even parking. Other than that. The lights were turned on when we were about 12. There were eggs in the green. Yeah, lights are on right now. Well, we're around 60 now. They stay on 60 now in the light until about June or July. Where do you, where do you buy this uh, hardware like, like this? Oh, that's... They don't make you this don't anymore. make them anymore. Yeah. They make the cheap stuff. Cheap now. stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> well, how come this bird is over here? This one right here. Well, it's a late hatch off the off the uh, Dream Boy Jan. You ever heard of Dream Boy Jansen? Yeah, Dream Boy. That's Van Loon. Dream Boy is uh, Van Loon. Jansen Van Loon. Yeah. yeah. I have a pair. Did you see it in there? In the... You got the uh, uh, Dream Boy? The, yeah, the brother and sister. The I was hatch? talking to him on the phone. I says. I said, what do you got down there that's good? He says, well, how about some Jensen blood? He says, yeah, I got some. I got some Dream Boy blood. And I know the Dream Boy blood is. Yeah. So he said, I'll send you up to a brother and sister, made them together, then use them as use them as breeders to, you, to your stuff. She's a nice little hen. Yeah, she is. That's one of the babies. Nice little hen. Only got one baby. So this is inbred. Yeah, that's it. Brother and sister. Yeah. Inbred dream boy. Inbred dream boy. Down. The eyes. This is a hen. That's a little hen, yeah. I raised her, God, I think it was September. A Johnson and dream boy. Mm -hmm. I'd use Compton bands because I ran out of bands last year before last. So I got them from my buddy in Compton. Ready for me next year. This year? This year. No, next year, you're right. Jesus. What are one of your Greek cocks? I know you got some Greek birds. Greek, yeah. yeah. Are they any good? I haven't tried them yet. Yeah. This year. Right. You want to see the parents? So well, this is where I fly the clocks. Uh, this is where you eat your uh, breakfast, then? That's where I eat my breakfast. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's the same. You gotta right live there. with the birds if you're gonna. You made this box? No, those were made by a guy down in the LA area a long time ago. Long time ago. Look at the hardware on those. Yeah. You don't find those anymore. They're the good ones. Sorry, your razor. These are cocks, yeah. See this? Box? Yeah. So you can control the light. And then when that fog rolls in. Oh. When that fog okay. rolls in and then close everything up. Just shut. So you keep your lights on during the light. The old birds don't get lights. No. This is a young bird. 18 hours, you said, of lights? About 16 hours. How far? I've tried everything. I've tried 24 hours. I've tried 18 hours. I've tried 12 hours. My my best response was 16 hours. That way it gives them eight hours of, of dark time. When do you turn off the lights? They, they come on in the morning. I know, but well, uh, what month do you just let the regular? Whenever you made up the birds, yeah, that's when you turn the lights on. The breeders. Until the until the season until is over. You, until you're finished breeding. Until, how about the racing? No, no, don't turn the lights on the race birds. That so when, when do you turn off the old birds the most? After they molt, then you just let it let the regular lights yeah, yeah. after molting. Yeah. Which is what what month? 
you turn, you just let the night regular oh, night. June. Longest, longest months of the so longest June. days of the year. Okay, and you breed February, right? Yeah. And so by August, September, yeah, I'm pretty much done with them all. They're on there. I cut the ninth and tenth, and then when I cut the ninth and tenth, we're usually around the end of May, and then I usually go to Europe. When I come back, they they're about this long, the ninth and tenth. When they're about three quarters out, then I start letting them out again and settle in. By August, I'm ready to start training. What month do you do that? May. May? Yeah. Okay. August, and it takes about a month, August. right? A month. Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. They're about three quarter inch out. When they're about three quarters out, and I start letting them out, I feel comfortable that the hot will pick them off really easy. Yeah. These are the hens. This is where I feel the, uh, the tur happy sea birds. Derby birds, I threw them in here. And where did you put the hands over there? Yeah. yeah I don't know. That's on uh, all the time? No, just when I turn them on. I had them on automatic, but I didn't like I didn't like them coming out when, when it's not really warm. Is that sucking the air out or yeah. bringing the air in? Sucking, sucking, pushing it out. Oh, this one right here? Yeah. What is that on top? That's just a regular bed. To go up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 